Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So there's been a bit of a break between the episodes because it's Christmas time and I've got a little opportunity to make another video so let's start with this one. The first thing I'm going to show you is we've got um, been busy building a new sort of base more an area where I'm going to put move everything to a lot of the machines to because the frame rate at the moment is appalling I'm going down to about 15 frames per second so what I want to do is to move all of the machines out of the way uh, so we can get on and do other things so let's start with that one shall we what what I've done is I've built the base around about two let's have a look 256 blocks away from here and it's actually over where have we got to? Oh, we're getting some more of those blocks. It's over there. You can't see it at the moment, but I've got, uh, let's make sure I've got the glider activated. I have. So if I just press space, hold down space and press W, we'll glide along. And as you can see, the rendering is, because of this little sort of lag, it's very slow. We should get there fairly soon, actually. It doesn't take a second or two. And on the minimap you can see I've set up a factory. Well, I'll just turn off the, the glider as I get a bit nearer. And here you, what I've done is I've set up a, a chest. Oh, I've just picked up some rotting flesh with a, a turret on top of it. So if any mobs spawn around here while I'm busy, they get ground. And there's a little hole to get out of here. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I've got another one just down. Oh no, that's just a hole. And this is all well lit up. <laughs> I've got blue walls. Unfortunately, I've chosen that rather badly because the blue walls aren't going to help very much. And I created a waystone. And I moved the floor down one so the waystone is still there. And what I've been doing is I've been filling in the ceiling with lots of floodlights. So this area is pretty well lit up. So if I press F4, we'll see that everywhere is reasonably well lit up. So we shouldn't get mobs spawning in here. So what I've got to do is I've got to move this. Let's just shift that out of the way and put it down. In fact, I think the middle is a very good place to put it, but it's probably not... Uh, yeah, it's okay. I'll put it down here somewhere. So this is the factory. Done. We weren't right. We weren't right. Click it. And this was some food. And I, don't, I can't move that at the moment because I, I just put it in a bad place. Well, I moved it down. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Just go through that and it gets, gives you a bit of food, so that's no big deal. I've got some blocks missing up here. I'm just looking at that, wondering why. So this is a, an area, and it's actually, if I press F9 twice, you can just see that this is actually on the on, on chunk boundaries. So basically, it's three chunks by three chunks, like that. And then the very middle of this is going to be around about here somewhere. So look, it's actually quite awkward to find out. So it's around about here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up, let's get it out of this, I think I've got everything I need in here. Yeah, I've got some quantum rings. And I'm going to use a quantum ring and an energy acceptor. And for the time being, I'm going to use a sterling generator to power it. And we need some ender tank, ender chest, or one ender chest, colored orange. Where's the orange gone to? There it is. So what I'm going to do is put, the, basically this is going to be the the reception end of this. So if I remember rightly, we just have to do it like, like this. Let's jump a bit high. <laughs> Try again. I can't get it. Don't stand here. Maybe I can do it that way. Yeah, I can. And one. I haven't got the one for the middle, have I? Never mind. I have got in here the, the singularities, but I haven't built the middle bit. Let's have a look at that. I don't think I can do that here. I'd have to do that back at base. Well, never mind. we'll set up the rest of it in the time being. So we need um, a chunk loader. And we need, I'm going to put the chunk loader on top of this. I wonder if I can get up on here a second. Good. Like that. And set that to, let's show the lasers. Two chunks. Looks like it's perfect. It's, I don't think it's going into the, I think it's going into the corners. because so it's set to square. Yeah, so that's just right in the middle. So that's why I chose nine as a, a starting point. So I hide the lasers. We don't need any. So you need nine chunks. And then this will need power. 
and it and of course it needs chunk loading the quantum rings always need chunk loading and they also need power so what i've got in here is a energy acceptor which i think we can just simply put well, let's put it uh, anywhere i suppose really can't we if i put it i'll put it here and then we can put the sterling generator right beside it or maybe on top of it let's put it on top So that's got plenty of power and it's also got an octetic capacitor in here. Now the next thing we need on top of this will be a chest with carbon in it. I can't remember, I think, I'm pretty sure. If I've got it wrong, I've got to go back to base anyway. I think it's the middle one. No, it's the left hand side, isn't it? No, nope, it's the middle one. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to base and set up the other side of this and make the last two components. So we go back here hold this in so we want to go to moon base I'll, turn. I'll press f9 turn that off again now this is where we get this dreadful lag so i really don't like being here as, as little as possible anyway so what we need to do i was making some signs to put on some chests i'll show you those in a while if I remember that is so we want to do at applied and I need to make something to do with the quantum rings I can't remember exactly what it's called but hopefully they're all together not 13 pages I don't like that let's just do then quantum this is what we need the quantum link chamber and I think these are fairly straightforward. Some flux pearls and some quartz glass. Quartz glass we may or may not have. Oh, we've got quartz glass too, good. So flux pearls, uh, maybe we can do these. Oh, we need dust, don't we? So we need, that was four, so we need eight dust, I think. Let's craft 16 of those just to be safe. Start, and hopefully, trouble is these are being used in other processes let me just see what it's doing on the other on the other machine so it's just oh, it's just crafting other stuff that's not too big deal so look. six eight I can do it around this can't I drag it over there so we need oh we do actually need 32 of those don't we so I didn't get anywhere near enough so let's just wait until we get 12 more of those that will be 12 so we can shift click that out gives me four so we need another one of these so we need another 16 of those what did I do with that thing I wanted the pulse didn't I that's right oh no <laughs> I know I'm waiting for I'm waiting for these because we need four for each one don't we Right, we got those. So now we can make these link chambers. We need two. Oh, I've got an achievement. So I missed what the achievement was. The achievement you've got quantum tunnel. Okay, so we need two of those link chambers, one for each side. And I need some bone meal, and I also need some more orange. I don't need 30, so I'll just take about three of those. And we need some red dye. Because we haven't got any more orange. So I'll take one of those and some yellow. We can just mix those two together. That'll give us two orange. And that should be enough. Let me double check what the colour scheme was. It was the middle. No, it was the middle one. Yeah, okay, good. Right, so I have to set up the same thing on this side as well, so we'll do that as well. And you'll see that the rendering is not working very well at the moment. There we go. Oh yeah, these, start, these signs I was telling you before, I said they were telling me what they are. Basically I've been doing books and sorting them out. So all of these here are basically enchants for armour. So you've got all sorts of things like last stand, thorns and whatever. 
And here I've got some enchants for bows like Infinity, Flame, Punch and Power. And so on and so forth. Picks, we've got some Fortune, Efficiency and Efficiency. Again, that's just Efficiency 1. So when I get one, I, I, I take it off and put it in here. So we've got some Soulband books in here and a Flim Flam. Here we've got Unbreaking. So all of these will be Unbreaking 3. And so on and so forth. And Swords, I've got some Sword stuff in here. If I can do it far away. So I've got smite and I've got looting. And in here I keep the when I find one I put it in here with anything that's worthwhile doing. So I've got another smite there. So two sm smite ones will make a smite too, so I'll do that later on. Oh, and here. What I did here, this is a bit change. This is a clock, so, but I'm not using it at the moment. What it, and here I've got some hyper rationing pipes. Now what the hyper rationing pipes do is they allow one item of each type or one item from to come in at any one time. Or so it's allowing two. So we've got in here slag, uh, slab, uh, scrap, and we've got in here the phyto grow, and those are mixed together and they're producing ten scrap at a time. So our scrap should be going up nicely. Let's have a look at what we've got for scrap. 4.4 million scrap. So it's not too bad. I might as well get this started actually while we're doing this. So if I come along here and put it into the recycler, which I think is here, isn't it? I think I took it out of that. So that is the re oh, that's the matter fabrica. Yeah, that's the one we need. So let's put that in there. And by the time we finish this episode, we may have found that out. Oh, there is something else very important. These things. These centrifuges, industrial centrifuge, they are exceedingly slow. And I was going to show you, I meant, meant to show you that. So we need these tech reborn cells. And I basically put in, so that's Wolfram. I think I've got some other ones as well. Yes, I have got the lithium cells as well. And these are going to be used to make iridium. So what we can do, now this one here, the recipe for this, is with a Pluto rock. So Pluto rock and um, what's one and the other one's going to just out of here. Get it set up and we can go and do it before we do. So we need some Pluto rock, which is this one. We've got plenty of it. And we also need some ellipse subsurface rock. Subsurface rock. Take those two like that. What we'll do, we'll put those into these two We'll use the N2 of it, then we know which ones they are. So here we've got some more lithium cells. So I put these into here with two cells like that. And this is going to start to go up. You can see it's working. If you actually look at the machine, it should be rotating. We'll do that from the other side. And same one here, we'll do the same thing for this one. We'll do this one and then two cells. And the cells alone take a long time to make. Go over here, we should maybe be able to see these two rotating. Now that rotation doesn't work for very long as it happens. Let's get over here a bit. Yep. So they're working happily away. And we'll come back at the end of the episode, as long as I remember that is, and have a look at how far they've they've gone. So let's go back now to the other now I'll set up this other ring don't I? I need it somewhere with this power I think. I don't actually know. I don't need it where it's power. I need it to be connected. I think here might not be a bad place. Let's just put it in here. I can always move it later on. It's no big deal. What I should also build is a is a terminal, shouldn't I? A crafting terminal, something like that. Now, in the middle, we put the cell, uh, the link chamber, and then it forms. And in the, in the in the link chamber, we put the singularities. So we've got the, they always come in pairs, because you basically got to connect the two ends together like that. Where's that one? Let's put that out of the way and put this one down here. Should take them both out, shouldn't I? And then we can put the singularity in here, like that. Now that will then connect up to the other one. So all we now need to do is connect that across. Uh, I'll connect it across at this corner over here. 
think that's the right height. Three is about the height I tend to work at. That's not joining. I thought, that, oh, maybe it's the end. Yep. Okay. Right, so that's now joined. And as you can see, this is turned on. So you basically, you can see all of these turned on like that. So we have a ba basically eight eight sets or eight sides or we can, no, we have more, 12 sides where we can actually take connectors out of. So let's go back to the other base now. So we want factory. Oh yeah, because I moved it. Let's try that again. I should disappear from that list actually. Yeah, I've got some. I can't see it. I've got two Venus squares. One of those doesn't exist either. Let's go back and rename that factory. Some mobs are getting around it. I should remove that as well because that also will cause a bit of lag. So there we are, that direction. Look at that. So I've got the glider. I think the glider's still on. It is now. And we go across. As you can see, it renders as we get near it. I press G to come down, and we can just simply walk the last bit. So that, ah, oh, yes, it's lost its uh, name, strangely. Activated, does it tell me? Oh, that's ladies' factory. Okay, I had to activate it. I've forgotten to do that, to be honest with you. So let's put this this link in the other place here. That's link chamber. Now let's give it some um, singularity in the middle. Like that. So this just now needs power. Uh, okay, I didn't connect, of course, because this is actually in the wrong place. So let's remove this. And you can do the same with down here. And that, so if I put this vibrant energy acceptor say on the side here we can then put on top of that the sterling generator and then you see it lights up so it's now got power which is getting enough power it should get about 20,000 RF per tick so that's one should now be connected so I didn't bring I didn't make the other thing yet did I also and then we just want to put the the chest on there so all we're going to do is to bone wheel this one, make it white again, and then take the orange, and make it put it in the middle, and then open up the chest, and there we've got all of our carbon ready to be used. Let's just take the pickaxe and put this on top of this. So it then gets power. There we go. So then all we have to do is to come to this and tell it to pull from the top here. Let's do configuration and we'll have pull from the top. And then as soon as you do that, it fills up with carbon. So this thing is now powered and ready and you can see it's working in the middle here. So all I need to do now is to connect onto that some cables. So for instance, if I wanted to run everything underground, which I may or may not do, I would take it now at the bottom underneath this one, but we can do that like this. And then we'll go back to base quickly so many items and we'll make a crafting uh, actually we do need a crafting terminal so let's make a crafting terminal so we need a crafting terminal I don't know what we actually have. I think we've got the processor. We don't have a tone, I don't think. So we don't have the panel yet. I might have a panel in this chest over here. Illuminated panel, I do. Because I had made them before. In fact, I actually got a storage monitor. Annihilation plane. I probably should take some of these with me. And put these into my chests or something like that. Into my bags. 
I'll do that later on. So let's make this. So now we have a terminal. Go off. We should then be able to make a crafting terminal. But I haven't got. I probably haven't got a crafting table. Oh, I have good. It's a crafting terminal. I'll actually keep that with me. In fact, I can put the bone wheel back now. I'll get rid of the things. If I put them in here, into this chest here, everything I put in here will go back to the right place. It'll get sorted out and go into the correct, correct place. Like that. So let's go. Oh, yes. I was telling you about that clock circuit, wasn't I? Well, the idea of this is to basically disable the these lasers coming to this uh, assembly table for a period of time so actually it's it turns out to be something in the order of i think it's 29 pulses and it's on for two pulses so and here you see it's on for two pulses it's on here for 29 pulses but it's times two so probably 58 and that comes through here and then connects to this on the other side of this i put a redstone torch which turns off this transfer node and when it's turned off it doesn't send the items out so you basically stop getting that so if i do that to show you what i'm talking about because it's sometimes easier to see than to describe let's get a redstone torch out to feel like that and then put this on the side here like this and you'll see what happens is it doesn't come in here straight away until that pulse goes off, which you can just see in the right hand corner there now, you get a chance to get another one. And then that should then turn the lasers back on again, just like that. And it basically carries on and it slows it down a bit. And the idea of that is it then come up here. If you want to if you want to do anything else up here, at the moment I'm not doing anything. Because I was making lots of money. Let's have a look in this chest here. So I was making lots of money and I was making some empty tech, tech reborn cells. Now the, the money is the one that needs power. I've also finished making the 64, 16k storage components. So I've now got a 64, 16 of those. So I've got plenty now to carry on and make whatever I like, which is great. So that's that process so let's go back to the factory and set up the terminal i wish i haven't done this yet all right is the glider back on no not to turn the glider on i just fly to the thing i fly to the factory turn the glider off And just drop down into it so now if we put this terminal on here like this let's just put one block up here and then put the crafting terminal on here oops remove that one didn't mean to do two we should have everything in our system visible here as you can see so that's working nicely so what i'm going to do between episodes I'm going to move a lot of those machines downstairs uh, from here, from the other side to here. I'm also going to make some. I'll go back and do that actually. Let's where's that? Uh, where's the hole? Got to fill that in as well. That's driving me crazy. <laughs> Here's the hole. I don't normally jump out of here, but I think I can. Put the glider back on again, and let's go to the base, which is over here. Takes a few seconds, but not too long. You can see base is just coming into line now. I turned off the beacons from the from the waypoints because they're a bit irritating sometimes. Just press G and get down. Disable that again. So what I'm going to do here between episodes is to remove all of these machines at the back here. All of these synthesizers uh, I might have to leave some bits I'll leave the storage in there because that's not going to cause much lag I don't think 
and hopefully when that's done it's going to improve things a little bit i'm hoping it's going to improve things a bit now the other thing i wanted to make was in this chest here i think i've got some stuff prepared no nope, that's for these and as you can see well, let's have a look how long we've we been about 10 minutes so at the end of this get to the didn't put them in the best place today let's get out of the way because you can't see this one it's done three percent which is not very much at all i've got an idea i want to try out as well with that one we'll do that next time i think and in this just here yes i do i've got some but i think it's probably the way we're going to move stuff around is with the tesseract maybe that's the best way to transfer power i'm not 100 percent sure i don't think these machines over here require too much power because they're not being used all the time now the pet tesseract okay let's come over here i think this is all empty it is so one tesseract frame the recipe for that's fairly straightforward there's nothing complicated about it some enderium ingots and some fused quartz or hardened glass i think and a diamond either an industrial diamond or a normal diamond will make this tesseract frame now it takes 1000 which is four ender pearls put that spell that in there and we'll put that over here so we now got 1000 re uh, resident ender and that fills up this thing here exactly 1000 so now we've got the filled tesseract frame we've got two actually now they both should stack so we can then go back over here and i haven't set up a portable crafting terminal either so what we can do on here if you can say the use let's look at the uses of this if i get it right yep and we can do this so we basically just need some silver and some bronze ingots and that will make tesseract let's see if we can do that good so i put the second one on here like this we should get two tesseracts oh they don't stack tesseract frames do stack but the tesseracts themselves don't stack so what i'll do with these tesseracts here is i'm going to put this on the cryo on this flux duct over here probably let's put it on the top of here let's put one of those at the top and we'll call this one main power configuration let's just set the frequency for that one oh i have to go frequency as well do i one add it yeah that's main power good so we can send basically it's sending everything but we can actually send energy so we can turn the others off because so we're not going to send any fluids or items at the moment we'd basically just want to that's receive only so i want to send energy only like that so this is now going to send energy so we can then go back to the other base and set the up that side of things i think did I take that off? No, I didn't. Let me just take this off because I don't need that at the moment. When I don't need it, I just take it off like that. And then this basically keeps running most of the time. Not, not every second, but it works quite nicely to produce those scrap. So let's have a look now. What do we want to do? I wanted to go back to the... Yeah, I want to go back to the base, don't I? Turn the glider on. So I just hold the space down and it just keeps you going. And with the glider, you can go... No, quite easily 500 blocks or something like that so it's if you've got it on the moon anyway on venus you can't go anywhere near as far as that because it's got a higher gravity here we are disable the glider it's a bit of an overlap though so it's a really bit irritating so what i could actually do of course is if i wanted to i could put this power onto here like that and then I can set it to main power, click that, and then that's that. And then it can be receiving energy. So we can basically turn off all of these, sending items, nothing. That one's off. So it's receiving, I want receiving energy, don't I, that one, yes. So this is now receiving power from the main, from the main base, which is fine. I have got to prove that, haven't I, in a way? Mm. I haven't got anything to prove it with me at the moment, but I did make a multimeter. Let's have a look. 
because thermal foundation I think has a multimeter I can see it got a not as conduit probe I'm having difficulty finding the multimeter in my eyes I've got the red pouch let's have a look in the red pouch if I've got it in there no I don't put that in there as well I'm thinking about it I could even put this red um, torch in there I must have left it at the base but now of course I've got, now I've got the terminal let's have a look if I can find it no I haven't got it in I haven't got it here at the moment it's probably elsewhere Hmm, okay. Never mind. I was going to prove that. So. Oops, done that wrong. I've done the same thing again, haven't I? Let's just cancel that thing. I don't want that one. I want to press F5. Right. So that's the end of this episode. Next time, I'm going to show you some. We're going to make some semi stable ingots to make some creative flight. So, and we'll put. And we'll do something else. I probably won't have done that by this time. But there is a, a to-do on Caitlin's tasks for the pack. And that's to remove blue cobblestone. So uh, <laughs> I think all my walls are going to disappear. So until then, bye for now.